Uh, what I learned when building my first AI chatbot on Akamai Cloud. Uh, I'm uh, Mike Ellison, senior developer here, uh, senior developer advocate here at Akamai. And uh, yeah, AI inference. Uh, I figured it was going to be extremely hard for me to figure out. You know, I've been uh, speaking to some of the AI experts uh, that are working at Akamai. Uh, they've been trying to make a lot of the products uh, available on the Akamai Cloud. And, you know, as a pretty straightforward consumer of things like ChatGPT, et cetera, I figured, how can I get my own AI chatbot up and running? Uh, and I figured it's going to be extremely hard. I wanted to make sure that it used Kubernetes, uh, so cloud native ready uh, to be able to, to have that running. Realized we're going to need graphical processor units or GPUs in order to be making those decisions uh, fast and, and efficiently. And I realized, okay, we're going to have to figure out this, uh, storage for the model, uh, factor databases, and etc. And then I learned also through our partners, uh, Fermion, you may have seen them uh, there at our boost or over there, about WebAssembly. And I come from a development background, but figuring out having to build my own user interface and the infrastructure and GPUs, etc. I figured this is going to be very, very difficult. And I didn't really want to spend a lot of time learning everything until I figured out we have this perfect KSERF stack ready to go. So I figured this would be the perfect solution for me to start building everything on. Uh, I know, for instance, uh, Akamai has, Akamai Cloud has a Kubernetes managed solution, uh, a Linode Kubernetes engine. Figured it would be a perfect starting point. We have NVIDIA GPUs rolled out on the platform. And then I figured, okay, we're gonna need something like serverless with Knative uh, and uh, KSERF would be the perfect start there where I can talk to things like Hugging Face. Uh, and I figured, this like proven architecture, let's uh, start building this. But having to understand all the layers here is uh, quite a challenge uh, if you are relatively new in the cloud native scene. So I figured, how can we build this as fast as possible? And, and luckily, we already have the Linode Kubernetes engine up and running. Uh, I have tested that in the last uh, year and a half or so. And that has always been very easy for me to spin up clusters. Uh, literally takes uh, minutes or so once you're signed up for an Akamai Cloud account to go ahead and provision your clusters with the different nodes and CPU and compute that you need. Uh, you know, very developer friendly. And from all of the companies that we work with that I, I speak to is that developer friendly is really something that is a, a unique selling point there. And then last year, I was able to uh, learn about this new thing that we have in development, which is the Akamai app platform, uh, being a one-click developer portal ready to go uh, on the uh, Akamai Linode Kubernetes engine. So uh, you have this app platform, and if you've been here earlier today, uh, the uh, main principal architect for this has been doing some demos on this, really making it easier to spin it up uh, as a one-click on your cluster to have an entire DevOps-ready pipeline ready to go and have the ability to extend that. And I realized that is the perfect place for me to go ahead and start provisioning everything that I need. So what you see here is the Akamai Cloud Manager where you can indeed just spin up your Kubernetes cluster in any region in the world that you need uh, and enable the app platform, which right now is in beta, but you can test that out. And then you just pick whatever compute you wanted. So I figured, okay, we're gonna need the GPUs that we have ready to go, set that up. And that took around 15 minutes or so to provision. And the reason why it, it took a little bit longer than usual, LKE cluster spin up in like three minutes, but the app platform itself uh, takes like 15 minutes because all of these dependencies and CNCF technology that is uh, part of that is going to be deployed for you. So I didn't have to learn or think about what, how to provision Gitty, how to set that up, how to set up Argo CD, K-native, Istio, everything for me was just ready to go. And for somebody who is still relatively new to the whole cloud native uh, infrastructure and all of the technology, that was a huge time saver because otherwise I would have to learn all these uh, tools by itself, install everything. But it was just, as you saw, just one click. That's all I needed to do is just the enable button and it was, it was provisioned for me. So... Then one thing that, that we did is we worked on a user guide to help figure out how can we get the uh, chatbot up and running. So we have the KSERV model, 
uh, that you can provision on top of the app platform uh, as a workload. We use the open web UI for intera uh, interacting with uh, chatbots. And through Hugging Face, we are uh, talking to the uh, OLAMA 3 model there to make that fully available uh, in, uh, in, in a region. So I will uh, show you a quick demo. I mean, you've all probably used uh, a chatbot before. I'm just going to type something random here. So this is running right now on the NVIDIA GPUs that we have actually in our Frankfurt region. I figured I would try to deploy this in a region that is not London. So uh, as you can see, very similar to ChatGPT. And this whole process uh, of me following the user guide that we developed and trying to get this up and running took me about 75 minutes, uh, including the fact that it takes 20 minutes to provision the app cluster. So I mean, I had breakfast, came back, and I had this uh, relatively ready to go pretty quickly by, again, just uh, following this this user guide that uh, that we have, where it's just basically going through all the steps and provisioning the uh, different things that you need, the K native, uh, installing the K serve uh, for uh, you know for, for everything. And that's, uh, what we're going to look at next is uh, so once that cluster gets provisioned and you have enabled the app platform. You're going to have a unique login here to uh, to an app platform where you can go in and uh, you know enable the applications and assign the workloads that you have. So very easy. You can just create your own workloads based on uh, things like uh, Helm charts, etc., uh, that allow you to uh, to set that up. Uh, and in this case, you know we set up the uh, the K serves. Uh, once that was provisioned, again, very straightforward. Everything is done through CI/CD, uh, ready to go. I have the ability to dive into all of that. You uh, you provision the model. Uh, you know I have to uh, set up the model itself again. Just uh, putting my uh, tokens etc. in here through the uh, through the charts and again very straightforward. Uh, and then finally, what you need to do is expose that service, of course, for public uh, use on the internet. Again, having worked at Akamai for roughly ten years or so, I figured you have to figure things out like HTTPS certificates and DNS etc. Uh, and luckily, to my surprise, it was very straightforward that the app platform takes care of all of that stuff. So when you go in and create a specific service, uh, once that is, of course, up and running, uh, so here, for instance, the Llama 3 UI workload was spun up, you have the ability to then go ahead and set that as an external service that will go ahead and provision things like DNS names and HTTPS certificates all the way for you. Click Submit, and it will be re ready to go where... That was the final step that I needed to do. And two minutes later, once that uh, services is completely exposed, I had here now a full chatbot up and running that I could go ahead and test. So as somebody, again, where, where we come from this mindset of wanting to be able to provision workloads fast or do some rapid testing, etc., I feel like the app platform is at a really uh, great state to be able to you know, test things out, uh, run your workloads easily on the edge uh, and uh, be able to get things up and running. So uh, I, I was uh, very pleasantly surprised by how simple it was to indeed, like not knowing the underlying technology of how to manually install everything yourself. It's just that ease of use and being able to work with that. So perhaps for, for those here in the room watching, knowing way more about the individual aspects of this you will want to go ahead and configure everything to the best of your capabilities but think about things like the development teams that you work with that don't have all of this cloud native exposure uh, you can go ahead and uh, you know make these sort of golden path templates ready to go over you can go ahead and deploy that uh, you know that workload uh, or in this case AI chatbots uh, and uh, you know I've been testing out some other guides that we've been working on things like RabbitMQ messaging services uh, some of our Fermion, uh, WebAssembly, uh, spin applications, etc., and uh, lightning fast. So uh, one of the things that, of course, we're seeing within Akamai as well is the uh, generative AI, AI inferencing is uh, picking up, uh, working with a lot of customers to be able to do this. We have one particular customer in the gaming industry, for instance, that makes it available to do like image generation within the video game. You can give it a prompt. And uh, they've been doing some testing and showing that against, uh, you know, a hyperscaler uh, that we were way more efficient when it comes to cost and technology as well. So we're, we're seeing some really good wins there. Uh, 
which is uh, not only great for Akamai, of course, so making us all here at the booth and, and paying my salary, but definitely making sure that that cost is back for you as well. So I will say, if you're interested, uh, take a look. Uh, we have, of course, the full stack of Akamai Cloud solutions available. Uh, we are running a hackathon. Still, I believe we are out of the lag of sets. I'm sorry. I was hoping to be the last person to get the final ones out. But you can still sign up. You get free credits. You can still try it out. The guides that I followed along were uh, having giving prizes away, like a certification bundle, I believe, for the, the, the Kubernetes training. You can build it yourself and win some prizes. So, and by the way, the end date is uh, 21. Now we have three left, I see. So uh, not all at once, but... Uh, <laughs> We, we we have the few so uh so yeah thanks for the talk and looking forward to see what you will do next thank you